Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Dale Channel's 40th world where we do celebrity gossip news. We just want to talk about anything. We just feel like we want to have a found and thought, okay? That's pretty much what we did. We're going to be talking about Kim Sozniak Berman today. Okay, it's going to be a short, sweet, nice video because it's thundering outside and I get the bad time to try to do this video. Like I said, it ain't too much to really talk about. Kim, so Zach Hill, you remember she was a little star, went on Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, started to um, become a big thing here in Atlanta, and she got a spin-off show, but she did, I think, about five seasons, and they gave her her own show, Don't Be Party for the Party. Okay, it ran a long time. I want to say 13, 14, maybe around the episodes seasons, then they canned her. It might have been eight or nine seasons, I'm not really sure. But shortly after she married her husband, Paul Beardy, she thought she was going to be in a lap of luxury because she had married and solidified herself as an NFL uh, wife. And I guess she thought he was going to be making some money. Come to find out, he's just a bench warmer, okay? Yep, and he just cut the hair. Like he pretty much did to Mimi Meek when she was uh, having her Iran or having these job opportunities and then they just went sour on each other. Okay? But child, you gotta watch that man you gotta watch it, man. He have your paycheck in the palm of his hands and when he gets sick of you, he cuts you dry. Cut you dry. I think that's what he did to um Kim Zosia. But the title of this uh video is mostly have Kim lost her mind. Okay, she been on Miss Cleo running around here. And when I'm saying Miss Cleo, as you go you know, was like a spiritual reader, palm reader, to tell you the future, this, this, that, and the other, you couldn't help yourself. I know, I'm like, man, what the hell is going on with him? Okay, she need money that bad? You got a GoFundMe thing? Child, the streets are talking, and I'm late with this story because it's been out there. So I just thought I'm a cup. Plus, I had did a, uh, a video a short time ago, two minutes ago, on Kim, and uh, this joke saying she was coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which she was being herself. But she thinks Real Housewives of Atlanta is below her, and it was just a stepping stone to get to her uh, main event, which was, which was her own spinoff. Yeah, she could be around Kane, she could be around Candy, she could be around Nene, Cynthia, or even Faisal. Okay, it was just too awkward for her. All right, not saying she's a racist, but hey, let the cookie crumble where it may fall on the floor, and you pick it up. That's it. All right. But anyway, yeah, cute, 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 cute king. Okay, running right around here talking about she's finna be a Miss Cleo. And she was her advisor. She finna open up her own academy. It's her two girls. They were like, okay, cool, yes. Do that, mom. Okay, that's for real. Chris Warner had a picture of the other girl, but <sighs> it is what it is. Okay. But her children, her family are like wholeheartedly supporting her. And uh, on this new adventure where she's starting this spiritual academy where she's uh, charging $77 a month. I'm like, where did you come up with it? $77. Is the seven supposed to be good or something? Seven supposed to be completion? Well, I don't care what them sevens. But she's charging uh, for you to join her club as a membership or member. You have to pay $77 a month. Okay? Routinely. Like, concurrently, it's occurring every month, okay? So she left her don't be party for the party. She had to get her another side hustle. And this is her hustle, guys, okay? But, um, let me see if I can find this little article. Again, it came from springrant.com. And Kim, uh, I think they did this article on August the 7th, before it was published. And she was announced to, uh, Starting an exclusive spiritual academy. Okay, this comes several months after Bravo canceled her spin-off series, you know. Andy Cohen had to get the, get her on the chopping block. <laughs> and she did have a run with her show Don't Be Tardy for the Party for at least eight seasons. Okay. I was like, oh Lord, here we go, here we go. So she had to think up another money maker, good get uh get quick team uh type situation. People were saying she's Focusing on scamming folks. That's what they say, honey. She's supposed to be um uh, getting a partner, working alongside her, 
Uh, she's supposed to be named Nicole Zoya. Uh, she's a self-proclaimed healer, light worker. Okay. Uh, she said this is a private members only community for people who are truly passionate about living their best life. It is for anyone who wants to increase their vibration and manifest their desires. She continued at Nicole Theola Love and I are so passionate about this and want to help people that are ready to step into more of their power. The big singer concluded, when you learn to increase your vibration, you will begin to manifest your dreams. It's just a short little push, a little encouragement, and some support carries you through the light. And that's why we created the School Academy. Okay? Yes, honey, Kim. I don't know what you're doing, but a lot of people are saying, girl, stop playing. Stop playing, girl. You're playing with us. You're trying to go through the scam and scam. And we ain't falling for it. And what they were saying, honey, if you don't believe me, I'll read it to you. Um, say that. Um, back to another story. <laughs> anyway, it was pretty much they were calling. I can't get it right now. I just want to think of it. But basically, they were saying so Kim was trying to scam people out of their money out of $77 a month. That's what they basically were saying. Like, go on and try to find something else. Don't be scamming people out of their hard earned money or get it together. Can't get it on TV anymore. We'll get a job. We'll get a real job. Okay? Do some acting. Or, or, you know, do, do some and see what she got going on. Maybe she can hook you up as a, a waitress in her uh, lounge or a Nikki. Girl, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't know what she's doing out there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I thought it was going to be uh, short, sweet, and nice. Uh, do you think she. Uh, had karma come back to bite her in the butt on how she did candy and that tardy for the party. Uh, that was, yeah, don't be tardy for the party. Uh, so the candy had collectively got together for her. Do you think this is some payback or uh, her karma is still to come? Or is she, or could she be a uh, spiritual advisor? You know? But I'm like, oh, Kim, I don't know. I don't know, girl. You have to be kind of clean with your mouth as well as your mind. And I don't think, you know, with all this alcohol you're drinking and, and all these parties you're going to, and, you know, all this clowning you're doing behind the scenes, I, I don't know if you would qualify for a spiritual guy at this time, but, you know, I don't know. Strange things have happened. People have turned a new leaf on life. You know, you might be living a clean uh, life and eating right, drinking right, thinking right. I don't know. Uh, strange things have happened. Have happened, so I guess you could. Could turn out to be the real legit thing, but I don't know. I'm sorry about you at this time, and I'll catch up and, 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 and try to see what you're doing in the future and see have it made any money for you? Have you come to some type of spiritual awareness yourself? Uh, that you're walking up the wrong tree, or did it really turn out to be a, a good thing for you and a good source of income? Y'all get down in the comments, y'all tell me what y'all thought about Kim becoming a spiritual advisor help some lady named Zoya. Okay? I'm like, oh, Lord. Didn't they say that in the Bible? Don't be going to these soothsayers and these uh, fortune tellers. Okay? It's just it's an abomination. It's an abomination. But that's all I got for this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Other than that, y'all be blessed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.